so guys good morning um almost new i'm a little dry sorry but i just i wanted to come real quick you know, about like 15 minutes before i leave out to go get my husband from work and i wanted to um just elaborate a little bit more on my what is um the age of Aquarius really <clears throat> when I mentioned about a lot of information being revealed I'm I'm talking about stuff like our Bible is composed of metaphysics it's composed of biology it's composed of geology it's composed of numerology it's controls uh composed of astronomy it's composed of all of these things in one. And this is what I, I'd like to say that the most high is like a master. He play on words. Like, and you know, I do music. So, you know, when you rap, you kind of play on words and you can make one word or one reference mean two or more things. Guys, the most high does do this and he's the best at it, better at it than you or I could ever be. He uses numerology and we need to come to this understanding that way that we can discern our true fellow brothers and sisters and those who are fake. As I was explaining to you guys, it's the gathering and the saints and the elect are being gathered and some of our brothers and sisters, we don't want them to get left behind. This is why I was saying the church um, needs to open up a little bit more about not open up to things that are not in your bible we do need to study to show ourselves approved but as far as just dismissing everything that you hear because you've never heard it before so that's kind of more of what i'm saying like oh well i've never heard that before at my church so you know it got to be false or you know stuff like that you know we really need that bible is so big and like I said, it's already big. It's already a lot of books. It's books that's not in there. That's another thing. We need to be reading the books that are not in the Bible um, that were in there, like the Apocrypha, Enoch, you know what I'm saying? Um, th this type of thing is what I meant by information becoming uh, revealed. Now, I at this point, guys, like I said, this is I've been doing this for about eight years since I've turned um, 18 and I, I met my husband. I got into it a little bit when I was 18, but I was going through a rough time. I met my husband when I was 19. Um, and, you know, I've pretty much been doing this. Like, no matter what I've done, any downfalls I've had, any um, times where I fall, we all fall short of the glory of God. I've I've never fell away from my studies and I think that that helped me a lot in becoming who I am and helping me to be who the most high wants me to be and understanding um the world and understanding because to I've learned that you know the most scriptures say that you know the most high through everything that he has created therefore you have no excuse so that means that we are here using the, you know, this experience to know the most high and know him through the things that he created. And, and this is why I explained that the female is, um, that the Holy Spirit is female, male and female was created in the most High's image. God said, let us make man in our image, um, male and female created he them. So we know at that point. God said, I'm about to make male and female in the image of him and his his other half who you would consider one. And this is why the scriptures say there are three that bear heaven and there are three that bear record in heaven. But these three are one. Just like if, you know, that's why I say as above, so below. Just like, um, you know, with your family, your um, the wife takes the name of the husband and then the children get the name of the husband and you are being called by the same name and you all become one. It's the same same concept as above so below. It's not when I said that the most high not going to give us, he's not going to make it hard for us. 
You see what I'm saying? He's not going to tell you. He's not going to give you a, a test without giving you the tools to complete it. You see what I mean? That's not how our God works. He does not work like that. He has given you all the tools and everything that you need to know him, to know um, life and to know your journey and what, you, what we are really here um, to experience and also how to experience in the right way and how I always say it's only really, um, it's only really, excuse me, I'm going to put my shirt up a little bit. It's only really um, one choice in life. And, you know, people look at me when I say this and they say, what, what do you mean it's only really one choice in life? And, you know, some people are, they like, how are she so comfortable with just, you know, uh, what do you mean? No, somebody controlling your life. How are you just so comfortable with this concept? But it's like, this is how I look at it. You really only have one choice in life. I feel like the most high has put everything in place already. It's like this. This is how I always explain it. And this is how I explained it to my husband when I first started explaining it. <clears throat> you only got really one choice in life. And that choice is to do good or to do evil. In every circumstance, every opportunity, your choice is to do good or to do bad, no matter the opportunity or circumstance. So that's like, you know, you, you know, the most high made an obstacle course, two obstacle courses and one was good and one was bad. And um, though he might not, he, you know, he told you, you know, if you do good, if you go on this course.